who could out drink who? The Americans or the Brits? Oh, the Brits would out drink then. The UK. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. We drink you under the table. In <clears throat> one hour and 40 minutes, I shall be in and having my first pint. An hour and 40 minutes, fuck in the Midwest by 11 a.m. We've had half a dozen breakfast beers to wash down our screwdrivers, Bloody Marys and mimosas. Y'all want to reassess your bets here, buddy? The thought of a 20 year old not being allowed in the club is low-key an egg. I mean, I'll give you that, our drinking age is bullshit. But also, nothing prepares you for Olympic-level alcoholism like guzzling down whatever illegally obtained booze you can get your hands on for the better part of a decade until you can legally buy a beer. Damn near every 16-year-old in the United States has happily guzzled down gallons of cheap liquor that tastes like rubbing alcohol and expired gasoline because they wanted to party. Spoiled teenagers who have been able to buy beer in a bar since they were 16 cannot compete with the distances Americans are willing to go to get drunk. We've got a bigger beer culture. We have multiple states with their own specific types of whiskey. And they're not even our drunkest states. Here's the thing, UK. You guys go sit down and have your crumpets and tea and wait your hour and 40 minutes to have your first pint. Because as long as the Midwest exists, the Brits are drinking at the kiddie table. I will put any Midwest state against your entire country. And we don't even need to do that because Wisconsin exists. And back in 2022 when Green Bay played that NFL game in London, a few handfuls of Packers fans drank entire UK bars dry. Now I've drank a lot in Wisconsin and you know what's never happened? The beer running out. So thanks for playing. Cheers.